the uh, other issue I want to pick up right now, sorry state of Victorian politics, again on full display, as union dodginess festers and the Andrews government continues to turn a blind eye. This is very fascinating. Watch this one. Revealed today, United Firefighters Union boss Peter Marshall paid an IT business owned by his own brother $116,000 last year, $40,000 more than the previous year. Now, this is information from a public disclosure lodgement put in with a registered organisations commission. Joining me now from Melbourne, Shadow Minister for Industrial Relations, Victorian Liberal MP Nick Wakeling. Nick, union members, firefighter union members, they are furious their money's being spent on a website they say has poor functionality, which just happens to be run by the boss's brother. What do you make of it? Oh, good evening, Peter. And uh, you're right. I mean, you know, this uh, is deeply concerning. And for the rank and file members um, of the UFU, they're deeply concerned, and rightly so, with the management of their union. I mean, I mean, heaven's sake, awarding contracts to brothers, but more importantly, at increasing prices. Um, you know, no wonder rank and file members of this union are raising serious concerns about the management. Is there a correlation, Nick, between the fact that Marshall's pay, the boss's pay, decreased by $30,000, while at the same time there was a $40,000 pay increase for web services via his brother's company? Well, it begs the obvious question, doesn't it? And this is exactly why uh, members within the union are raising serious concerns. But, you know, why is this important? I mean, let's remember Peter Marshall, uh, who has been a very militant unionist in this state, has the ear of this Victorian government. I mean, he writes legislation. He dictates policy. I mean, the attacks we've seen on our, in our emergency services, he's been front and centre. And uh, that's why you're now seeing rank and file members of his own union calling out his actions. And, you know, the government are more than happy uh, to have this union within their fold. And uh, it just, again, highlights the problems within this state with regards to the UFU. Yeah, look, you, you were right to point out to Peter Marshall's power, power in his relationship with the government, uh, power in the relationship he has uh, with the Premier. There's been this merger, merger in Victoria between uh, the urbanised fire brigade and the volunteer fire brigade or firefighters in the country. They're called the CFA in Victoria, Country Fire Authority. And, and out of that, there's been this massive drop in the number of volunteers in Victoria, volunteer firefighters. Uh, they had almost 30,000 members back in 2015. Now that the merger's happened, they're down to 30,000. How much responsibility does Marshall, the UFU, and indeed the, the, the merged entity bear for all of this? Well, this has been central to the failure uh, in our emergency services as a consequence of the government's policies and their legislation. I mean, the union had a very clear agenda. They wanted more permanent staff because they could sign them up as members. Volunteers couldn't join their union, so they did everything in their power to push aside our volunteers. We've got a history of volunteers and permanent firefighters working together. But today, uh, it's, you know, the focus is fighting uh, attacks on our volunteers. And let's not forget, it was the volunteers who travelled hundreds of kilometres on Black Saturday to defend our communities here in this state. It was our volunteers that travelled interstate uh, during Black Saturday to help our interstate colleagues. Why aren't we supporting and congratulating our volunteers instead of attacking them like we've seen from this government? 